This is a short little demo demonstrating how to use CompSoftBook uh, or Scorelator and how to upload homeworks. So we start off with our main page here, which is just basically the website on which you submit things. And I'm going to go ahead and log in as myself here. You should have been sent a password associated with your uw.edu account. And if you don't find that, look in your uh, filtered mail and make sure you pull that out. It will be an email from Scorelator or CompSoftBook. And that should have both your username, which is your email, your uw.edu email, plus a password. You can use these to log in. Once inside, it's fairly simple structure. There's actually only four items here on the left that you can do. You can submit an assignment. You get information on your homeworks that you've submitted. There's some course information and guides and help. Let's start with the bottom guides and help. There's a student guide, which basically shows you it's an outdated a little bit, but it tells you a little bit of how to use Scorelator and some of the functionality in written form. So this is something that you have access to if you'd like to browse through. There's also a workbook, and this basically has some nice examples showing you how to not only program up some of these examples, but also how to write out your code in a form that's acceptable for MATLAB. So those are the student guide and workbook. We can go to course information. And here, the course page doesn't have any information at this point. And also assignment details may be put up here. And this is actually associated with the class. There is something called test currently up. And this is what I'm going to submit to. But later it will be listed here as all your homeworks. It's just information that can all be found on the main web page of the course website. So let's go to submit an assignment. And let's suppose my assignment is just to add two numbers, add one plus two, and to save that result and submit it to, uh, to score later. So I first need to write a code. Right now, there is a test available assignment. It's called test. So I can press on here. The category is test. The assignment is called test. And it's due here on November 1st, 2016 at midnight. Current attempt is one of three. So there's three attempts total and on my first attempt. And these are basically the three steps you're going to follow to upload. You're going to first select the from the available assignments. You're going to upload a solution. And let's talk about our solution. I've written a little MATLAB code here. Here's my MATLAB. And what I'm doing is a function that I say take A is one, B is two. And this is just one way to do this. I'm showing as an example, which is I'm going to add these two together. So I created a function called my function. It's going to bring in A and B and produce C. My function is here. I send them in and I just add them together. So this is a very simple code. And the only reason I've written that as a function is you may have to do this later in some of your examples. Now, once I've written this, C is my answer, which is just one plus two, which is three. And I'm going to save this as a1.dat and as an ASCII file. So this is very important to write this out. So what's going to happen is I'm going to upload this code. It's going to add those two numbers together and save it as an ASCII. And this is the answer that Scorelator is looking for to compare against the key. So suppose I would have actually done this wrong. Instead of adding 1 plus 2, I added 1 plus 3. So I should get the wrong answer. Let's go ahead and save this. And notice I'm going to upload both my test.m and the function, my function.m. So what I do here is come here to the assignments and browse. And what I'm going to look at is in my MATLAB files, there is my function and my test. So I'm going to upload them both. So let's upload my function.m. OK, upload, browse. Let me bring this in here. My test. Open, upload. So I have two files uploaded. And one of the things I have to do is if I've uploaded extra files, I can remove them. For instance, if I highlight this, I could always remove it and replace it. But I also have to highlight which one of these is the main function that I'm going to run. Well, my test 
is the function that calls on my function. So my test is the main file. And then over here it says main file my test.m. It's going to run MATLAB. And it's as simple as that. Submit assignment. So step one, select what you're going to do. Step two, upload the file. Step three, hit the submit button. Now what will happen is two things. Uh, it will grade the software and it now will send you an email. And it'll tell you the results. Now a copy of that email will be sitting here in the submission information. So I can look at my job queue. There's three things here and I can see, oh look, there is various things that jobs that I submitted. Uh, I can look at my messages. In fact, I just got a message right now. So let me go select this message and view selected message. And here's what the message was that was sent actually to my account and it's also reduced here. So even if you don't, if it gets filtered by your email account, it shows up here. And you can see here what I got. It's an evaluation. Gives me information. It's attempt one, submission time. Score is looking, and it gives you a diagnostic. Score later is looking for the following files, a1.dat. Tells you whether it found it. And this is a very important diagnostic here. It was expecting a one by one, and it received one by one, so that's good. Uh, the common is the submission is not within the required tolerance, so my score is a zero out of 100%. So my score currently is zero out of 100. So what I know is I got this wrong. A1.dat is wrong, so I can go back and try to fix what's wrong. And by the way, I can look at my scores and how I'm doing, and I can go look at this category, test and assignment. And on my first attempt, my score was a zero. There's a total of one submission, which is mine, but this will give you essentially the class statistics. It'll tell you how many people have submitted, what the high, the low, and the mean is for that assignment. So that's it. So let's go back and fix this. And so if you remember, what we actually did is, that, oh, look at that. That was supposed to be 1 plus 2, and I had 1 plus 3. So let's go back to 1 plus 2, save that. And now I can go back to submit assignment, test, and notice it's now current attempt 2 of 3. So it's my second attempt. I'm going to browse my files, and I'm going to upload now my test. Pull this in here. Open. Upload. Now in my function. Upload. Remember, my test is the main file. MATLAB kernel, submit assignment. This is my second attempt. It should go ahead and evaluate this, and now it should be correctly done. We can check this out on submission information and just go look at my messages. And if we go look at my messages, here's a new message. We can view the selected message. And again, you can get an email. And now look, we have the file. It was found, expected, received with the same. File passed successfully, 100 out of 100. So I got 100% on this homework. And now I can go look at my scores, and it will be reflected there in my scores. My second attempt, I got 100%. The high and the low and the mean are 100, because I'm the only one who submitted anything. So that's basically it. It's as easy as that. Remember, there's only four buttons here. The action button is submit assignment. That's the only place where you can really do anything with this, when, and it just gives you information on three steps to tell you what is pick, pick the assignment, upload the solutions, and submit it. Submission information is all about how the grading is going, what attempt you're on, and it also tells you kind of the class statistics. And these are just uh, helpful information for the course as well as guides that highlight some of the things we've talked about here. That's it. Hopefully that is uh, helpful for you to use SCORE later.